So I'll just talk through sort of our approach to generative AI um, that we've taken in the business. Obviously, it's one of our strategic choices that we're investing in and pursuing. And from the outset, we sort of said we want to have a, this phased approach to, to what, we, what we choose to do. And our phase one's really been about how we establish the foundations, how we enable the business, how we give you some of the tools that you need um, to deliver on, on generative AI, things like recall that we've, we've scaled across the business and we see 1,500 users a month using that tool. We get on order of about, um, I don't know, what's there, 60,000 questions a month being asked in that tool. Probably the best snapshot of what we're collectively thinking about um, that we have in a way. Um, so we've been rolling those things out, but we've also been building the foundational technology um, that you know, we need so that we can move at pace, as Bill said. And even as Andrew said you know, in the introductions, these next three days are around problems and our shared problems and what we can those, and how we solve those problems. We had to establish some of that foundation technology. We've done that, um, but we've brought that together. So we're able to sort of move quickly now. We can go beyond um, the chat bot, so to speak, um, and we'll show some of those solutions a little bit later on. But we are moving into phase two, which is why we're all here. And that is about building the community, building a bit more critical mass around generative AI. The idea that all of you go back out into the business and are able to speak with our clients in an informed way, able to sort of connect up technology to problems and the right people that you need to be able to action those. But also, what are the solutions we can actually put together and build? One of the ones that you know, Theo will talk about briefly is our construction RFI solution, where there's, there's, no, there's no chat interface. It's just using this technology to solve a real problem um, that many of us have had. Um, and I think that's the kind of thing that we need to do. Um, and as those pilots take place, see, we move into our, our phase three, and that's how we scale those solutions and, and how, we, how we sort of go to market in a different way. The final thing I wanted to add, this slide is bringing Gen A to life. And I think we've had a small AI team that's been putting all this together. This for me is the real kickoff point of our AI strategy, because it's about you know, bringing all of you together. Because what does it take? It actually takes all of us collectively to do this. It takes Kim with capability leaders, takes Amy, who's here somewhere, Amy with our change management program, takes Kim from automation, it takes Tristan from computational design and Chris and Dan, who are all sort of connecting up, I guess, traditional design approaches with generative AI technology. It takes Brian and people like Scott from operations to sort of connect up. How do we deploy it? How do we go to market? I think for me, that's actually the really exciting thing about the next three days is it's the confluence of different people.